This is every Jedi Knight who died on screen during the Clone Wars. The bloodiest conflict the galaxy far, far away has seen to date. I've been looking forward to this. I've gone through the series and documented every time we see a dead Jedi on screen to get a sense of the no! scale of this war and the impact on the Republic's protectors turned generals, the Jedi. First up is Jedi General Nadav Ebb, a Mon Calamari and former apprentice to fellow amphibious Jedi Kit Fister. <laughs> Nadav! Congratulations on passing the trials. His promotion from the rank of Padawan Learner to Jedi Knight and General of the Grand Army of the Republic was a direct result of the onset of the Clone Wars. While on the trail of one Newt Gunray, a member of the Separatist leadership, Nadar and his clone unit came across a large fortress which once trapped inside was revealed to be the lair of the infamous Jedi hunter General Grievous. Rather than try to escape, Veb hatched a plan to capture Grievous and bring a swift end to the war. Things didn't go exactly according to plan though and Veb was drawn into a duel with Grievous against his former master his warning. Nadar Veb gave into rage and was blinded by it, eventually falling to a blaster shot from Grievous during the duel. This unlucky Jedi Master is Ord Innocence. He was captured and killed by bounty hunter Cad Bane around 21 BBY. Innocence was targeted for assassination by Bane because he held the rank of Jedi Master, a requirement to access the Holocron Vault in the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Cad Bane would hire a shapeshifter named Kato Parasiti who would use Ord Innocence's likeness to access the Vault and attempt to steal precious Jedi artifacts. I can do that. But Bane's murderous involvement with the Jedi Order wasn't over. Killing one Jedi off screen is one thing, but season 2 showed us what new bounty hunter on the block Cad Bane was truly capable of when he ordered a contingent of battle droids to torture Jedi Master Bola Rapal to death. <laughs> Bola had a special designation within the Jedi Order as a Keeper of the Kyber Memory Crystal. The crystal, when read by keepers like Bola, revealed information about Force Sensitives and potential initiates to the Jedi Order. Well it turns out this Keeper of the Crystal wasn't very good at keeping the crystal. With Ord Innocence already dead, Bane needed a Jedi like Bola Rapal to open the holocron. Cad Bane resorted to torture to get what he wanted out of Bola Rapal, frying this poor roadie into a crisp. Hit him again, full power. He's dead. Looks like we will have to find another Jedi to open this holocron. This Nikto Jedi Master's fate was sealed the moment series co-creator Dave Filoni came up with his name. Master Armagun Dai met his match on Ryloth, holding out as long as he could against surrounding Separatist forces with a notable Twi'lek freedom fighter Cham Syndulla. Separatist forces had blockaded the planet, meaning anything reaching the surface was extremely limited. Master Dai was already on Ryloth with his clone unit, when coming to the aid of the Twi'lek resistance, they were together boxed into a canyon by Separatist Separatist forces. Master Dai fought long enough to see Republic forces break through the blockade to bring aid to Ryloth. As he died, his final words were acknowledging the Twi'lek people and that they would live to fight another day. Blockade runner 0999, we have broken through. Supplies have arrived at the drop point. Season 3's aptly titled episode Monster shows the Separatists score a 2 for 1 on the Jedi. Jedi Master Halsey was a Runan Jedi Master and early victim of rampaging Knight Brother Savage Opress. Halsey, along with his Nortolan apprentice Nox, died defending the Jedi Outpost Temple on Edith. While they did a decent job repelling the droid army, things took a tragic turn when the newly recruited assassin Savage landed on the battlefield. Savage was able to quickly dispatch of the two Jedi who were clearly outmatched. Halsey was disarmed knocked off his feet and impaled no! moments before his padawan was slammed against the temple door the impact killing him instantly double kill Jedi Master Evan Peel can be seen in episodes 1 and 2, but not in episode 3 that's because he was mauled by dogs during a mission to spring Wilhalf Tarkin from jail what? While trapped behind enemy lines and carrying secret information vital to the Republic's war effort, Jedi Master Evan Peel and Captain Wilhuff Tarkin were taken prisoner by the Separatists. An elite strike team led by Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker with Ahsoka Tano in tow landed on the planet Lola Seyu and infiltrated the until now impenetrable prison. The team rescued Master Peel and Tarkin but they were pursued by the prison's evil commandant Ozi Sobek. During the escape, their ship was destroyed and Ahsoka Tano and Master Peel were separated from the 
others. Sobek, fearing reprisal from Count Dooku, unleashed a pack of Anuba to hunt down his fugitives. <laughs> These large beasts made short work of little Evan Peel, who was mauled to death on the wastes of Lola Seyu. If anyone deserved their fate on this list, it's Pong Krell, who was shot in the back by clones after ordering them to fight each other in Season 5's 10th episode, Carnage of Krell. I said on your knees. While fighting to control the darkened world of Umbara, Anakin Skywalker's 501st Battalion was temporarily placed under the command of Jedi General Pong Krell. During the campaign on Umbara, Krell showed time and again that he had no regard for the life of the clones under his command, who decided to take matters into their own hands and arrest their general. Surrender, General. It's treason then. <laughs> Eventually, the wild Umbaran jungle gets hold of Krell long enough for the clones to stun and arrest him. While in the brig, Krell admits he has betrayed the Jedi Order and the Republic to get the attention of fellow fallen Jedi Count Dooku and become apprentice to him. Rex decided the Jedi General was too dangerous to be kept alive and ordered his execution. I have to do this. But before Rex could pull the trigger, Dogma finished the job, shooting the traitorous Jedi General in the back. <laughs> Revival is the premiere episode of the show's fifth season, and it doesn't stand on ceremony before spilling Jedi blood. Double kill. Darth Maul and his brother Savage are reunited and descend on the Outer Rim, causing chaos. The pair murder and pillage at every turn, fueled by rage and vengeance, reports of their brutality spreads across the galaxy and inevitably catch the attention of the Jedi. The Jedi brother found us! This poor soul, executed without so much as an introduction, is Finn Erte, Jedi Knight. She's standing over a fellow Jedi, and as of yet unnamed Nikto Jedi. But based on other Nikto on this list, I'm going to assume his name is something like Amal Ready Been Killed. Finally, Savage claims one last Jedi soul in this episode when Masters Obi Wan Kenobi and Adi Galea come to Florum. The pair are ambushed by Maul and Savage and quickly separated. Once Savage has Master Galea one on one, the differences in stature becomes apparent. Savage uses brute force to kill Galea, impaling her first with his horns, then with his red bladed saber. Kill. The season 5 premiere episode held the record for most Jedi killed in a single episode, but not for long. Episode 17, Sabotage, sees the highest Jedi body count in a single episode when the Jedi Temple is bombed. Victims of the bombing include clones, Jedi, and regular people working and visiting the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Six Jedi all up were killed, five unnamed, and one known as Tutso Mara. Mara was a male Jedi Knight who trained with fellow apprentice Barris Offi and even taught her a thing or two about combat. While the bomb was delivered to the temple by Temple Hangar Work, Jacabo Mani, the attack was in fact orchestrated by Barris Offi herself, who had become disillusioned with the Jedi Order. Barris Offi, member of the Jedi Order. Traitor. Barris could be the seventh Jedi killed as a result of the attack on the temple as she is sentenced to death for crimes against the Republic. The problem with that is no one seems to believe she's really gone. Many hold out hope that Barris still has story left to tell, either as one of the early Inquisitors, a fallen Jedi seeking redemption, or something else. The Unknown is the first episode of the Clone Wars 6 season and deals with the fallout of having one of the clone's inhibitor chips activated too early. Getting his dome rocked made clone trooper Tup lose his senses and execute Jedi General Tipla, a Mickey and twin at point blank range. Jedi. Coming to with seemingly no recollection, Tup's health began to deteriorate rapidly. His betrayal and condition would lead fellow clone trooper Fives to uncover a secret deep within the Republic cloning program. That is every Jedi who died during the Clone Wars, but technically we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Before jumping into the list of debatable deaths throughout the show, I'd like to invite you to join Star Wars Sublight if you haven't already. If you're interested in seeing more videos and updates like this one, well that's what we do here at Star Wars Sublight. We like to come out of hyperspace to explore the finer details of that galaxy far, far away. If that sounds like a bit of you, why not subscribe today, give this video a like, and make some friends in the comments, so we can do this together more often. The following deaths are included on this list as a technicality. I'll let you decide whether or not these casualties count towards the Clone Wars body count. Starting with the death of Ahsoka Tano. What? 
Season 3's journey to the Force Nexus of Mortis is an insane adventure that sort of did, sort of didn't happen. And depending on who you ask, that's the whole point. Sent to discover the origin of a mysterious distress call, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker, and Ahsoka Tano are stranded on a distant planet. There, they discover three beings more powerful with the Force than any Jedi have seen before. The 11th episode of Season 3, Altar of Mortis, throws a spanner in the works when the Sun, an embodiment of the dark side of the Force, corrupts Ahsoka with the venomous bite. The moment she's no longer of any use to him, the sun sucks her life force away, killing her instantly. Your usefulness has come to an end. No! If it weren't for the daughter, a living embodiment of the light side of the force, then it would have been lights out for Ahsoka for good. Anakin performed an incredible feat in the force, taking what remained of the daughter's life force and transferring it to Ahsoka, bringing her back from certain death. I will even learn to stop people from dying. I just transferred a bit of life. Force energy from me to him. This one is included as a technicality because, well, for one, Ahsoka comes back to life. And two, because the whole thing could possibly be a dream, an intense shared vision in the Force. And finally, the assassination of Kai Narek. This one's a technicality because while it happened during the Clone Wars TV series, the events actually take place during a flashback on the show. The season 3 episode Night Sisters shows us the tragic history of Asajj Ventress, revealed to be a former member of the Jedi Order and fallen Padawan. Her master, Jedi Knight Kai Narek, was a human male Jedi Knight around the same age as Master Qui-Gon Jinn. In 44 BBY, Narek was stranded on Rat Attack, where he discovered a young Force-sensitive Dathomirian girl named Asajj Ventress. Narek took Ventress as his Padawan, vowing to raise her in the ways of the Jedi. For 21 years, Narek and Ventress remained on Rat Attack, until in 23 BBY, Narek was shot and killed by Weequay Raiders. They had arrived on Rat Attack to abduct Asajj Ventress to have a young Jedi for their fighting pits. <laughs> After witnessing the death of her master, the man who'd raised her on rat attack, Ventress gave in to the dark side, cutting down her master's murderer in a fit of rage. That's it, all 20 Jedi who died during the Clone Wars TV show. I'm pretty sure that's everyone, but in case I missed somebody, feel free to let me know in the comments below. That'll do it for today, thank you so much for watching, and remember the Force will be with you, always. Killing spree.